Morgan and Blair, good morning from San Antonio. How are you? Very good, thank you. How is in San Antonio? Things are wonderful right now. We're talking about the top 100 nice. video games of all time. Please tell me that Farmville and Mafia Wars are not on that list. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you gotta watch. We can't tell you anything, man. We don't give anything away. That's no, true. Not a Farmville fan, I hear. <laughs> well, it's just, it just logs up my feed there in the, on the Facebook, but I understand people really like those games. I have actually unfriended people who play too much Farmville yeah. because they need to stop it. They do. They could spend all that energy and have an actual farm and probably make tons of money with the subsidies from the government. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but what I find interesting about this top 100 list, I'm, hey, I'm a Generation Xer, and, and I love video games. I grew up with, with playing role-playing games, Final Fantasy, the Mario Brothers. A lot of people can relate. But a lot of people, famous celebrities, are getting in on this list. Jack Black, Matthew Perry, Zach Braff, Aisha Tyler from CBS is the talk. Who knew that famous people play video games? Uh, you know, we didn't really know how many celebrities played video games until we discovered how easy it was to get celebrities to talk about video games. But you're absolutely right, man. We, we talked about this a lot. Athletes you expect uh, to play video games because they have so much downtime between games and they're traveling from city to city. But what we learned is that I, I would argue that like 75% of actors on sets now have video game consoles in their trailers and they're doing that in their downtime as well. So it was a pretty interesting to discover how many celebrities are into it. That's crazy, and I'm looking forward to this list on the G4 network in a, in a couple weeks. Uh, talk about the E3 mm -hmm. conference for our viewers that don't know what that is. So, so E3 is basically Christmas for gamers. This is when all of the video game companies come together. They have their big press conferences. Uh, they have, you know, giant booths, and, and they're basically showing the buyers from like Best Buy and Walmart, and, and also the video game journalists what we're going to be seeing and what we're going to be playing through the year and even into next year. Blair, you were born in San Antonio. I just found that out by reading your information. Um, so I have a question you. for you. Are there any games uh, about the Alamo coming out this uh, summer there or Christmas? Are. Well, you know, since everybody knows how that story ends, <laughs> it's kind of hard to make a game about it. But uh, wouldn't it be cool if Davy like Davy Crockett had multiple lives and maybe like a plasma gun? That would be pretty awesome. And, you know, a lot of games do take a lot of liberties with history, so we could see that happen. But I don't think the bow and arrow physics have been developed to the point where an Alamo <laughs> game would be correctly, very accurate at this point. But that would be great. And okay. San Antonio is awesome. San Antonio is awesome. I have one more San Antonio question. If the Spurs win the championship this year, are, we gonna be, are they going to be on the cover of NBA 2K13? That is a question you'd have to direct to the developers. I'll say this, the bigger question, if the Spurs win the championship, will Tim Duncan finally smile? You know, I, maybe for the cover he would. He would. He, he's he, yes, his nickname there was you Spock go. Put him college. on the cover and he'll smile. I like that. Guys, we appreciate it so much. I got to <laughs> say that all the, all the guys here on the crew, Morgan, are big fans of yours because of your video oh, game guys. knowledge <laughs> and, and your beauty. Awesome. And Blair, we love you because you're from San Antonio. We'll take a look at this conference. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'll take that.